and welcome. I hope you're having an awesome day. Today's review is on Coleco, which is this adorable and wholesome life simulation game developed by Peachy Keen Games. This one is available on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation and PC and features exploration and cafe management in a colourful and quirky world. In Coleco, you'll step into the shoes of a new cafe owner and you're now in charge of reopening your aunt's once thriving cafe. You and your cafe are situated in this mystical looking land with a handful of other quirky NPCs. Your main objectives in this game will simply be to manage your cafe, explore the world and do a few favours for various NPCs you'll find scattered about. It's a very simple game and a quick one at that, offering about 5 or so hours of gameplay. Also, just a quick side note, if you find this review helpful, feel free to subscribe. I post on here every single week and I play a wide variety of games. The main elements that come together to make this game include the cafe management, exploration and the quests. Starting with your cafe, which wasn't quite to the extent that I was maybe expecting. How much time you want to spend on this part of the game is completely up to you and extremely flexible. You can furnish your cafe with items that you've either purchased or received from NPCs with quite a limited variety available to choose from. To make food, you play these kind of mini games, which I went absolutely ballistic over when I first played it. It's so cute and fun and it's just hilarious. You'll basically turn miniature and need to find your way around the kitchen to gather ingredients, mix them together, bake them and more. I have to admit though, after doing this a few times, I was pretty much over it and not really wanting to do it every single time I wanted to have items in my cafe. Once you make items, they'll be placed in your display and that's pretty much it. You don't need to serve people, there's no staff, you don't even need to be in the building or open and close the cafe. Like I said, it's just not what I was expecting. Onto the exploration, you'll have this interesting, magical world to explore and you'll initially be limited to the one area, but as you do quests for some random NPCs, you'll be able to open up new areas to explore. The world itself isn't super detailed and you'll stumble across some interesting and adorable things like a giant sleeping cat in a log and some working cats. There's some houses scattered around and one area has a small city, but overall there isn't that much to do. As you explore you can come across some wild animals that you can basically just take and have in your cafe. I'm talking cats, polar bears, wolves and everything in between. I think Coleco is just meant to be a super casual game where you just take your time, explore, go at your own pace and simply experience the game. There's really no main objective or collection system or really even that much you can do with the money you make from your cafe aside from just purchasing more furniture or some clothing. In saying this, I didn't in any way dislike the game. I enjoyed it for what it was and I think it's set at a fair price and I even got it on special. I think I paid about $8 for it. Coleco has a beautiful and unique art style that uses pastel colours that really make the world pop. On top of this, the animations for this game have this sort of ragdoll style and it just makes everything so funny. You can even choose to Naruto run and you can do it while holding a cat. <laughs> Coleco doesn't have the smoothest gameplay, with awkward camera angles, some laggy bits here and there, and just some other awkward things such as your player randomly choosing when to run and you can't actually control it. It doesn't really give off the vibe of an unfinished or unloved game. These things kind of almost just add to the weird, quirky kind of vibe that this game has to offer. Although I could have done without the weird camera angles. <laughs> Coleco is a cozy and wholesome addition to the life sim genre that offers a blend of cafe management and exploration in a tiny bite sized game. It's really this awkward, quirky, weird kind of game with no main objective, but it's just fun to experience. I've no background for this game, but it almost feels like someone just had a lot of spare time and money and decided to make this random fun little game. 
probably someone who likes cats. But yeah, I liked it. I felt like it was worth the price and I had a fun few hours goofing around and taking polar bear babies. <laughs> Thanks for checking out my review, I hope you found it helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye!